Hello everybody, welcome to my image processing and pattern recognition course. This is the third part of this course dealing with principles of statistical image description. As you know, this is the whole course content. Let's start with the general architecture of an image processing system. We illustrate here the main steps starting with pre-processing, which can be a kind of denoising or contrast enhancement of any or any improvement of the image, making further processing easier. Then a set of features are generated for further classification or decision making. Generally, we generate systematically many features. Some of them can be pertinent or non-discriminating the useful information. Thus, a feature selection step is of great importance for improving classification performances. What kind of features can we have? Some features can be extracted from raw pixel description. Statistical description, such as histogram, is very simple and can be pertinent for discriminating objects. And many other descriptors can be useful for generating discriminant features. Different features can be defined with respect to different spaces that can be considered for image description. Indeed, an extracted feature is rather a representation of the information in a different space. Different spaces can be used, such as Fourier space, which features are obtained by Fourier transform of the image, illustrating special frequencies in the image. Multi-resolution space, which features are obtained by wavelet transforms. Gabor space, which features are obtained by Gabor filters at different scales and orientations. Statistical space, which features are obtained by first order statistics or second order statistics. In this part of the course, I will focus on statistical image description. A histogram is a variation of a bar chart in which data values are grouped together and put into different classes. This grouping allows you to see how frequently data in each class occur in the dataset. It is a statistical representation of the occurrence of gray levels with respect to a quantized space. For an image f of size n by m, the histogram denoted here by h is described for each level k by h of k is the cardinal of the set of pixels in the image having as a gray level value k. The algorithm is as follows. Sweep lines and columns and increment the heat function at meeting each gray level. A normalized histogram is a representation of probability of occurrence of gray levels. It is defined as follows. It is obtained by dividing the histogram coefficients by the number of image pixels. The area under the curve of a normalized histogram is equal to 1. A cumulative histogram is a histogram in which the vertical axis gives not just the counts for a single bin, but rather gives the counts for that bin plus all bins of smaller values of the response variable. The cumulative histogram is given by this equation. For a variable k, it, is, it corresponds to the number of pixels smaller than the gray level k in the image. The normalized cumulative histogram is given by this equation. For a variable k, it corresponds to the probability of having a level lower than k. A histogram of color image can be done by doing statistics on the different components of the color space. Here we visualize a histogram of an RGB color image. Accordingly, three histograms are computed for red, green, and blue, respectively. Histogram illustrates a first-order statistics on gray levels. However, it does not indicate how these levels are arranged in the image. A histogram is not an injective function. From a histogram, we can read the dynamic range of an image, which is the maximum value minus the minimum value. A histogram illustrates the image content. A histogram mode is associated to a peak level. Histogram modes give ideas on the different objects in the image. As can be seen here, histogram illustrates the brilliance of a given image. 
Histogram illustrates also the contrast of an image. Histograms can be exploited in image processing. It can be used for improving contrast and visibility of an image, or for enhancing some details in the image, or just normalize the image intensity levels in a dataset. From the normalized histogram, which is rather a probability distribution of the gray levels in the image, we can apply Shannon entropy definition as a measure of information entropy, which is given by the equation below, where pi is the probability of having some gray levels and the logarithm of 1 over pi is the measure of entropy caused by pi. Histogram thresholding is processing aiming at discretizing the pixel levels in two or three levels of se for separating some useful information in the image. Here is an example of histogram thresholding taking a threshold S. Binarization is based on one threshold. The binary image has only two intensity levels. By thresholding, generally we aim at making foreground or segmentation of some regions in the image. How to define the thresholds? It can be by detection of local minima in the histogram or by molding the histogram with a mixture of Gaussians or by thresholding the entropy of information in the image for separating inner objects from background or by applying local thresholding with a sweeping window to enhance images. Here is an example of histogram thresholding. It is a binarization of an input image where we vary the threshold. As we see, we can we get different output images and only the first threshold is efficient in segmentation. Here is an example of histogram thresholding based on two thresholds. As we see, we can in this way isolate some information and get three grade level image. Another interesting approach in histogram thresholding is that proposed by Otto. Otto approach is based on histogram local minima computing for separating different modes in the histogram. Otto finds out these local minima by maximizing the intervariance between modes and minimizing the intervariance in each mode. One more histogram based image processing is histogram stretching. It is an affine transform of the gray levels as follows. It aims, as you see, at making the image more contrasted. Here is an example of histogram stretching algorithm. The stretch image has clearer levels and details appear better. Histogram equalization is also a histogram-based image processing algorithm. This processing aims at making constant the gray levels probability. As a consequence, a contrast enhancement is obtained and dynamic range of the image is improved. Here is the corresponding algorithm for histogram equalization. For each level k, we associate h a of k given by the equation below, where l is the maximum of the image gray levels and h c is the cumulative histogram. Here is an example of histogram equalization applied on a very dark, poor contrasted image. As we see, the equalized image is significantly improved in contrast and we can distinguish well all details in it. Another example also of histogram equalization, the same applied for all details in the image that appear better in the equalized version. Another statistical image description is a second order presentation based on the co-occurrence matrix, also referred as co-occurrence distribution. It is the most classical second-order statistical method for texture analysis. An image is composed of pixels, each with a gray level. The GLCM is a tabulation of how often different combinations of a gray levels co-occur in an image. We define each element, e.g., of the GLCM matrix as the number of times two samples of intensities E and G occur in a specified relationship. At specified distance and orientation, the sum of all elements e.g. of the GLCM will be the total number of times the specified the special relationship occurs in the image. Here is an illustration example for distance 1 and at an angle 0. The normalized elements of the GLCM may now be considered as probabilities of finding all the gray levels at a special specific relationship.
Computing the co-occurrence matrix of a color image can be achieved by applying the same for the different color components in the corresponding color space. Co-occurrence matrix allows to compute different relevant texture features. Haralik defined in the 90s a set of 14 texture features based on the co-occurrence matrix coefficients. Here are the most important ones. Entropy, which is a measure of disorder in image texture. It is given by the equation below. Energy, which is a measure of uniformity of image pixel levels. It is given by the equation below. Homogeneity, which measures the distribution with respect to the diagonal of the GLCM matrix, is given by equation below. Correlation, which measures the joint probability of pixel co-occurrence, is given by equation below. Variance of pixel gray levels, which is given by equation below. In this part of the course, we have presented the principles of statistical description. First order statistical description based on histogram presents a gray level probability mapping of the image. Second order statistical description based on co-occurrence matrix allows a detailed mapping of texture in the image. Histogram based image processing can improve significantly the image appearance. Histogram handling based processing can ensure efficient image enhancement and improve contrast. Co-occurrence matrix allow generation of texture features such as entropy, energy, homogeneity, correlation, and variance.